Hey guys, Luke back with another video. This one's going to be all about the necromancer aspects, those things that you throw on your items to give them additional powers. There are 20 necromancer aspects in total, and I'm going to go through and show you each one of them act by act. Going to begin in act one, work my way through five. And the only thing you really need to know is that you must complete these dungeons that I show you in order to actually get the aspects. And I'll go ahead and tell you which waypoints are closest nearby and what the aspects do themselves. So let's go ahead and get started. Leave it a like if you like it. Subscribe for more Diablo 4 guides to come and let's go. The first Act 1 aspect location I'm going to show you is here at the Black Asylum. And this is nearby the Bear Tribe Refugee and also the Kayovashad Town. And this one gives us Aspect of Torment, which makes your critical strikes with bone skills increase your essence regeneration by 20% for 4 seconds. Next up is up here, near the Bear Tribe Refugee, near Kyovashad. And it's here at the Hoarfrost Demise, and this one is the Blood Bathe Aspect. And this one is Blood Surges Nova Echoes again after a short delay, dealing 70% less damage. This one is located near Bear Tribe Refugee and Kyova Shad. The only difference between this one and the other ones is that this is inside of a stronghold, so you'll need to be high enough level and strong enough to complete it. And then once you have that completed, you can head up to the Rhyme Scar Cavern for the aspect of Plunging Darkness. And this one, Bone Prison, spawns a pool of blight and deals 50% bonus damage over 6 seconds. The next one is over on the western side of Act 1 right here at the Neostrava Deepwood, and that's by the Menestad Waypoint. And this dungeon right here gives you Flesh Rending Aspect. After Decompose spawns a corpse, gain 10 Essence. In the final aspect I'm going to show you in Act 1 is up here at Mercy's Reach, and this is right above the Menestad Waypoint on the northwestern side of the continent. And this one does Blood Lance deals 15% increased damage to its primary target per lanced enemy. The first aspect I'm going to show you in Act 2 is here near the Under the Fat Goose Inn waypoint. And this is in the southeast side of the region. And you're going to go to the Hive Dungeon, and this is Aspect of Swelling Curse, which makes Bone Spirit deal increased damage based on distance traveled, up to 15%. Next up is Aspect of Reanimation, which you can find here at the Alderwood Dungeon. All you need to do is head to Termare or Kerbok, and then those are the closest waypoints. Head over here, and this one makes it to where your skeletons gain increased damage while alive, up to 20% after 10 seconds. It doesn't show that here because I've already completed this dungeon on my main character. And next up we have the Vault of the Forsaken, and this is nearby Braystag in the northern part of the continent. And when you come here you get Requiem Aspect, and this is you gain 3 maximum essence per active minion. Great for you summoners. And the final aspect in Act 2 is up in the very northern part of the Act. And it's inside this stronghold here, so you will need to clear out the stronghold first. And the closest waypoint is Braced Egg or Marowin if you did that. And this one is the aspect of Empowering Reaper. Critical Strikes from Sever have a 10% chance to spawn a pool of Blight under the target that deals 20% bonus damage. Alright, now on to Act 3. The first one I'm going to show you is here near Ferrobrew, and it's at the Path of the Blind Dungeon. This one gives you Aspect of Bursting Bones. When a segment of Bone Prison is destroyed or expires, it deals 13 damage in an area around itself. And next up is the Gruulron Slums, and this one's close to the Hidden Overlook Waypoint, right here. It's actually right on top of it. And this one gives you Splintering Aspect. Bone Spear's primary attack makes enemies hit beyond the first, vulnerable for 1.5 seconds. Bone Shards from Bone Spear deal 50% more damage to vulnerable enemies and pierce them. And the final aspect in Act 3 is here at the Betrayer's Row. And this one's closest to Hidden Overlook. And it's just right here. And this one gives you Aspect of Potent Blood. While at full life, Blood Orbs grant 10 Essence. And now we're moving on to Act 4, and the first one I'm going to show you is here at the Corrupted Grotto, and it's right above Gay Cool here. And then once you're here, this one gives you Aspect of the Grasping Vines. It's actually not showing it here because of this challenge, but I'll go ahead and tell you what it does. You will gain 10% Critical Strike Chance for 6 seconds when you cast Corpse Tendrils. You deal 30% bonus critical damage to enemies damaged by that. 
The next up in Act 4, we have the Alder's Cave, and this one's near Gaykul. And there's another waypoint over here called Iron Wolves Encampment, if you have that one that's closer. This one gives you Aspect of the Damned, and it's you deal 30% increased shadow damage to enemies afflicted by both the Crepify and Iron Maiden. The next one I'm going to show you in Act 4 is all the way in the northern part, up here at the Sepulture of the Forsworn. This one is closest nearby to the Altar of Ruin, and this one is also inside of a Stronghold. So if you want to get to this dungeon, you're going to have to complete the Stronghold here. And the closest waypoint nearby to that is Iron Wolves Encampment. And this one makes it to where your Golem has a 1% chance to reduce its active cooldown by 2 seconds, and 1% chance to spawn a corpse each time it damages an enemy with its normal attack. And the final aspect here in Act 4 is at the Deserted Underpass. And this is actually just on the eastern side near the Denshar waypoint, the PvP area. And this one makes it to where enemies afflicted by your Iron Maiden have a 15% chance to be stunned for one second when they deal direct damage. And that one's called Torturous Aspect. The first aspect I'm going to show you here in Act 4 is at the Ruins of Eridu. And it's closest nearby to the either the main city waypoint or this stronghold here. I don't have the stronghold done yet. This one is Sacrificial Aspect, and it makes it to where your sacrifice bonuses are increased by 15%. This one is located near Backwater, over in the bottom right-hand corner of the entire map, at the Faceless Shrine Dungeon, and this one is the Unyielding Commander's Aspect. While Army of the Dead is active, your minions gain 70% attack speed and take 90% reduced damage. The final two aspects I'm going to show you here are both in the same place, right in the middle of the continent, here at the Ruins of Rakat Keep. And I believe you may need to do a story quest to get in here, I'm not 100% sure on that. But the first one here is Akan's Grafts Dungeon, and this one rewards you Blighted Aspect. You deal 50% increased damage for 6 seconds after the Shadow Blight Key passive damages enemies 10 times. And the next one is Iron Hold Dungeon, and this one's Frostblood Aspect. Blood Orbs reduce your ultimate cooldown by 0.5 seconds. And that brings me to the end of my Necromancer Aspect Guide. If you found it helpful, leave it a like, and subscribe for more guides to come, because I'll be making a ton of Diablo 4 guides. And I actually need some ideas, so if you could leave some comments down below on what you might find useful for a guide. I have some ideas of my own, but not too many i think maybe if i do the rest of the aspects that would be good and maybe like a pvp guide or something like how the pvp system works i've been doing quite a bit of this and it's actually quite fun i might even consider just dropping like a pvp video where i just straight up pvp only you might be able to see that come out someday who knows and uh yeah been loving the game so far and I'm now done padding for ad time, so I'll, I'll stop talking and, and go ahead and end the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.